Hey guys, it's Evan. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, which means it is time to upload the weekly crystal, rock, gem, mineral, and metal video. And last week I got a request to do a video on cast iron. And I've done some research, I've checked out some books, I've looked online, I've asked some people, and I really couldn't find anything geared specifically towards cast iron. Those of you that aren't familiar with cast iron, cast iron is generally used to make cauldrons like this one here. Um, but I will be doing a video today on iron in general. So I'm assuming cast iron and any other kind of iron like byproducts will be governed under iron as a whole. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Thank you for sending me a question and a request. So hopefully I answer what you're asking here. Um, anyway, the energy of iron in general is projective. And as we all know, projective energy is more outward and bold and outgoing, whereas receptive is very calming, nurturing, and inward. The planet is Mars, and the element is fire, and the deity is Selene. Now, the power flow is pretty, it's pretty, I guess, vast, if you will. And um, mostly iron is used in defensive magic, protection magic, healing, strength, um, rituals involving marriage, um, and also for grounding and the returning of stolen goods. Now, the magical uses of iron are, as I said previously, just a second ago, vast and many. There's many different ways to use it. There's many different spells and things of that nature. Um, one thing that I personally did is I got, um, iron railroad spikes. And if you don't have railroad spikes, you can use any small pieces of iron and you have to get four of them. And on the perimeter of the property that you live on or the perimeter of your home, on the outside, bury them about four inches underground. The little pieces of iron, or as I, as I used, um, iron railroad ties and stakes. And that will help prevent from thieves and negative people and evil people, people who are trying to do you harm, from not only entering your house, but also entering your property as a whole. Um, you can also wear an iron ring with the Mars symbol, which is the male little Goliath symbol, um, to help during protection and defensive magic. Mars is also known to govern anything involving persuasion, um, as well as things involving, you know, um, physical strength. That's also one of the power flows and magical uses of iron is to promote physical strength. Usually you can use this, um... You can make it in a pendant or a talisman, especially for athletes. Um, this will really, really, really help them out. Um, it also helps to expel the blood and the body full of illness if you wear it as a pendant or a jewelry. Um, and you can also wear it to help promote mental strength. So if you know anybody who is faltering from a, you know, from depression, bipolar disorder, even schizophrenia, um, it is said that if you do give them a little pendant, it can kind of help alleviate that and kind of give them a more positive motivation and outlook on life and things like that. Um, also, iron is used, as I said, in cauldrons, and like I said, cauldron magic is usually really good for protection, banishment, and healing. Um, so that's also why I think, personally, cauldrons are made specifically out of iron, plus iron can withstand heat for quite a long time. Um, what else is on here? Defensive magic. Like, okay, I didn't really explain that. Um, defensive magic is not necessarily magic that in which you hurt people deliberately, okay? Defensive magic is when somebody uses magic against you and you're basically kind of putting up a shield, you're kind of protecting yourself. Um, this can be doing a binding on the other person or doing a return to sender spell or anything of that nature. And iron is really good for that because iron has high vibration. And the higher the vibration of stone or crystal means the higher energy it does possess in the, I guess, stronger quality, if you will, it is. So as we learned from this video, which was only a couple, few short minutes, um, iron's really good for strength. It's really good to use for athletes. Um, like I said, wear it as jewelry or anything like that. Put some pieces of iron on the outside of your house to help protect you from thieves and uh, from people from doing negativity, people who want to do you harm um, severely, especially. Um, and also the return of stolen goods. It is said that if you keep a little piece of iron on top of your doorway, anybody who steals while they're in your home will not be able to leave. And if they do, 
if they do leave with the item that they stole, the next time they come over, they will return it. This is just Celtic folklore and myth, so I don't really know how true that is necessarily, but I will definitely try and let you guys know. Um, but yeah, anyway, that concludes this Sunday's video of crystal rock gems, minerals, and metals. As usual, leave me a request. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them below. And also in the down bar will be all the ways to get a hold of me, so you all know what to do. Um, anyway, lots of light, love, and blessings, and I will see you later.